in this case, the features uh, when we were in the part are features that are related to a, a bolt-up flange on the front end of the, uh, the drum. If we were in the part, we'd be seeing on uh, the display monitor those features that were uh, referenced for uh, this test. And it asks for my input, you know, is it there, do I like it, and I tell it okay, it moves on to a uh, second location. Again, asks me if um, it's in the proper place. Right now it's fine-tuning its position. I say okay. And we move on to the third location. And it was a simple program. Uh, we'll show that on video when it's in the part, and you'll better understand the uh, operations of it. During an actual scan, an operator saw uh, an indication or something questionable, he would hit a pause button. The pause button is available on the uh, uh, software uh, GUI or on the pendant. Uh, in pause, the run program has stopped and the operator could do things such as back up, look at it again, um, maybe touch it for uh, trying to witness a bleed back on an actual indication versus uh, a false indication. The web face scan, as we saw earlier, uh, starts where the web joins the uh, outside of the spool. We'll do a 360 degree rotation, index uh, in the radial reach direction, and uh, rescan 360 degrees and repeat that process until we've completed the web. That scan speed is uh, really way too high for an actual scan. Um, it would probably be one quarter of that speed or, or even less. Right now the system is uh, retracting. The black line you see here is an, a reference point for uh, rotational uh, index. The part fixture, three part fixtures were supplied for this particular job. Uh, the part fixture has uh, the positive drive rollers, as I was mentioning just a moment ago. Uh, the rear drive motors are floating on an axle. That allows this particular fixture to deal with several different uh, drums. Uh, also, if you look uh, down in here, the position of the idler wheels can be uh, moved closer and further out from uh, the center of the part. These will have a, a placard here indicating uh, which position is appropriate for which part. And by moving them, you're going to adjust the uh, attitude of the part. We need this thing to be in a horizontal orientation and uh, parallel to the, uh, the boom of the inspection head. Uh, the part fixture also would permit um, rotation about the, the center. If I uh, do this without busting my fingers. This allows me to turn the part around, which would permit entry into either the fore or aft end of the part. Uh, that's a focusing dot on my finger there. Um, I put on the forward uh, viewing optic, zero degree optic. Um, I've set focus for the inspection distance. Uh, the next program I'm gonna run was uh, devised as a simple quick test of uh, mechanical repeatability. Um, if I go into the program toolbox, I can uh, file open, I find the rotational test program, I say open that, uh, it loads it, you know, about as fast as you can click on it. Um, I'm going to run that program. Uh, the program instructs the system to move in the Y direction, in the X direction.
Now we're moving out in the radial reach. So for viewing camera, you're seeing the inside of the drum or spool. Uh, it's going to position itself to view uh, some of these features, these scallop features on the, uh, the rear face of the drum. I'm going to pause the program for a moment. This is uh, something the operator could do. Um, key live video, now the image that the uh, program is seeing is the same as the live image. Um, we'll go into resume. It's uh, uh, moving um, uh, various axes to align on a, a, a reference point. I don't have the reference point exactly in position uh, for this run. And then it'll move to a, uh, it'll ask me, is, do I need any input at that point? I say no. It'll move to position number two. Um, it asked me to, if I want to do anything in position number two, I'm going to say no. And then likewise, position number three. You do see uh, a little bit of overshoot, and then the program uh, homes itself to the exact reference. And that's settable in the program. We've set it to be within one thousandth of an inch um, in location. And that's that program. Mm -hmm.